This video highlights the performance improvements in the next generation of, of Windows, which is available for user acceptance testing. The first thing you're going to notice is that application performance is considerably faster. Before I could actually get back to the menu to actually click on another application, the application was already open. And considering that I'm using the shortcut menu, which is start, goes straight to Microsoft Office and not through the start programs, Microsoft Office traditional method, that definitely signifies how much faster the applications actually launch. Publisher. So now you'll notice these all opened as fast as I can actually click on them. No hang-ups, no freezes, no problems whatsoever. Moving files around in your virtual desktop from your desktop to your map drives which live on your virtual servers. This is a 13 meg file. You'll notice it copies without even bringing a dialog box up that says this is how long it's going to take. Here's another one, 9 megs. And here is a 4.7 meg PowerPoint presentation which we'll go ahead and open right now. As you can see that opens up as fast as I can click on it. This is a small Word document. Also opens very fast. And another PowerPoint. We'll open it up at the same time also. And also to show This is a drive mapped to my physical computer, and I'm remotely connected. And we'll drag over this little, what is this, a 1 meg file. And you saw that was pretty fast, I barely had time to show the dialog box. What's important about that is that that file didn't live on your virtual office or anywhere near it. It actually lived on my physical computer and that's how fast I was able to move it back and forth. Here's a 3.2 meg file. Takes a little longer because it has to actually upload the file to the virtual office but as you can see it went pretty fast. Back on your application drive, we have a 67 meg file. You'll notice that performance of moving that file back and forth is very fast too. It barely had time to show me a dialog. Another huge improvement is sound and video, which could come in useful for presentations. And one quick note here, when you actually re you know watching video inside your virtual desktop, when I'm seeing this video, I'm seeing the video it's flawless on my side. It looks just like if I was watching it on my real computer. And but when you record the video, sometimes it looks choppy, but it's really not because you're actually recording the video itself inside of the virtual desktop.
as you can see, general performance in applications, even video, audio, copying files, opening documents, working in any application that's installed on your virtual desktop is probably twofold faster than traditional XP. It also optimizes your bandwidth between your client and uh, the data center where your virtual desktop runs. That concludes this video.